did I use the word square? The town center is unique with only three main sides. That's not a square. The boys never get lost in Greve. They know many townsfolk and shopkeepers. Plus, everyone knows their grandparents in the family restaurant. I visit with friends as I near the town's main piazza, the triangular marketplace. Tourists love Greve and Chianti. The ancient meeting site with its covered walkways provides shade during summer and space for farmers to set up open air stalls year round. I admire the builders of this old piazza. The town's church, Santa Croce, anchors the marketplace on the south end. The collection of classic paintings inside is famous. The market and the church all contributing to making the town well known. Still for the boys, the statue in the center of the piazza is the main treasure. Yo ho, yo ho, in 1524, Verrazano sailed a lot more, I sing to myself. He is one of the town's most famous individuals. Giovanni de Verrazano was born in the area and grew up here. I spot my boys near the statue speaking with tourists. Walking toward them, I hear the tune they had practiced in the car. Surprisingly, the small tourist group chanted and swayed with my boys to the melody. They laugh and hand Angelo something. Loving the attention, Angelo bows grandly and speaks Italian, thanking them. The sightseers move on as I approach the boys. Just what happened here, I ask. Oh, we are working as performers and educators, Mom. We are teachers, Gino, the quiet twin, says. Look, adds Angelo, as he unfolds his hand. We see a coin the tourists gave him. It's not for us. We will give the money to our favorite nonprofit group. I ask in my professor-like voice, what exactly did you tell the tourist? Why did you use the word teacher? As an instructor, I feel uncertain about whether I should be angry or pleased. As a parent, I must know what they are up to and why. The boys look at each other and then nod their heads in agreement. They begin excitedly speaking in Italian, explaining, no, 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 no. Speak English, please. I did not have an Italian father or grandparents teaching me Italian at birth as they did. I'm not as fluent as you two. Start again from the beginning. Gino and Angelo smile at me and begin again singing out the words in English. Who, what, where, when, how? They point at the statue. We answer all the questions about this famous explorer. Folks think we are Italian schoolboys and are happy to know we can share information in our broken English, says Angelo. They put their arms around each other and give me one of their pasta-eating grins. We're happy to do it for free, but sometimes the audience is so pleased and entertained, they give us a donation, pipes in Gino. I take out some money, a European bill, wave it in front of them and say, let's see if you can earn this. Begin by telling me about Verrazano. I look at the metal face of the explorer statue. We are your audience now. Mm -hmm. 